Hey everybody, it's Dave Call. Time for some copy stamp tool. I think you'll like this tool. So let's get started. I'm going to make a sphere. Let me throw that down here, hit the enter key. This sphere, if I double click it, we dive inside. Now over the primitives section, I want to change this thing into a poly mesh. So I've hit W, goes back to wireframe. Now, what I want to do is grab a platonic solid. Let me put that over here. And I want to copy the platonic solid to the grid, to the sphere, actually. All right, here it is. Let me make this thing into a Utah teapot. Okay, now we'll do a copy. Throw that down here. Plug the sphere into the right node. Platonic into the left node. And we'll see what we have here. We have this copied to every point. Now let me scroll down the radius and you see that we now have this thing copied. That's all nice. However, what if we want to change the size of the teapots? That's where a copy stamp comes in. So let me double click into copy stamp. Now down over here, click on the stamp button and we have a few things to work on. Click on stamp inputs and then we'll make one called scale. That'll be a random value based on each point and I'll divide that by four. Now go back into the platonic solid Oops. and let's put something in the radius. I'm going to type in stamp dot dot forward slash use the copy and then I'll just type in scale and then if something gets an error we'll just type in 0.5 that'll be the default so now what you have over here are different sizes of the teapot now we could use a little color on this so let me drop in a color node throw that down in here now with this color node right now it's on white we can change it to whatever color but they all get colored the same way so what I want to do is go back to copy stamp let me add a RGB value we'll make this red that'll be rand of the point now let me multiply this by 10 that'll give a value between 0 and 1 let's do green rand point divided by 10 and blue we need to divide and multiply so it gives a variety otherwise they'll get the same random point for everything times 50 we'll go with that so now we have RGB values now to make that happen we need to go into the color it will type in the stamp tool again put this thing on copy and then we'll type in red and it'll do 0.5. Now let me copy this whole thing, paste that into here, make that blue or green actually. Some green. Now let's copy that into here, change the red into a blue. Okay, so now we have a variety of teapots, all colored. That is our copy stamp tool. I hope you think it's pretty neat. There's a lot of other functionality to it. And there we go. Talk to you in two.